Hello yogis, welcome to Yoga with Dasha. And today we talked about hips. Those guys are holding us upright. And with the lack of mobility in your hip joints and the lack of strength, muscle strength in your hips, you might experience some pain in your lumbar, your lower back, and SI joints. So, and especially I would address it to runners or people who are sitting next to the desk the whole day, or just for everybody. So we'll start with the breathing, just find out how you feel about the hip area. And it will show you where the tightness is. So just sit straight, ground your sitting bones on, on the floor, grow tall. Take an inhale in your chest, and exhale slowly. And if you start to feel that you're squeezing your legs towards your belly, you're holding your legs up with your low abdomen, I would recommend to use a pillow, a block, or folded blanket, so you can sit on top of that and create your sukhasana, easy sitting pose with one chin in front of the other. And let make sure that your legs are melting down you can find your long and soft belly and start to breathe again. Take a big inhale. Expand your rib cage. And exhale slowly. Inhale and exhale right towards your hips. So this relaxed belly I'm talking about, and we will get back to it again during the practice. And we'll start our physical practice laying on the back, so slide the pillow from your way, lay on the ground, and take your knees towards your chest, roll it from side to side. Maybe find some circle movements, bring your hands on top of your knees, and then push your knees away from you. Move them aside, take them towards your chest, and keep moving like that. And it's up to you how wide or how narrow those circles are. And then change the direction. Now plant your feet on the ground, about hip distance apart between your feet. Your heels as close to your hips as it's possible for you without feeling something like uncomfortable on your kneecaps. Plant your hands next to your hips. Take your inhale and exhale here. Level your hips on the ground and with an exhalation start to press them up. Inhale. Exhale, gently bring it down. Inhale, bring them up. And down. And one more. And hold it there. And then put your tailbone, but uh, tailbone towards your knees. So really flat spine. So take this tailbone down, and up, and up, and up. So really nice and smooth surface right here. Make sure that you're not letting your knees fall to the sides. Your thighs is parallel to one another. Another inhale. See if you can press your hips slightly higher. And gently bring it down to the ground. Then lift your right leg up. Rock and roll the ankle, point your toes, flex your foot. Then bend your knee and bring the ankle, the right ankle on top of your left knee. Press your knee away from you and you can help with your hands. So bring your right hand on top of your knee and your left hand on your left hip crease. Press it to the ground. Take an inhale and take your knee away from your chest. Make sure that you're not squeezing your shoulders forward. Make your shoulders lay down. Keep breathing here. Then see if you can bring this left leg closer to you. Keep pressing your right knee away. And see if maybe you can grab your left hand behind your left leg and create this counteraction with your hand. So you're pressing your right hand gently in front of you and taking your left leg towards your chest. 
we are looking for mild sensation in your hip mild sensation right here and on your knees too no pinching pain inhales and exhales and breathe through that mild sensation you created here and see if you can link in your left leg up find out something about your left hamstring toes towards you rebound your left knee if you did that and then bring this foot closer to your chest see if you can grab it with your hands if not just grab the knee and bring the towards your chest and heel is lifting up so the knee is bent is about 90 degrees angle here and start to bring the knee towards the floor next to your rib cage maybe you can grab the heel with your right hand and left hand is pressing the left foot press to the ground shoulders are open And gently release, lean this leg up towards the sky, roll the ankle, bend your knees again, and then we'll create the figure four on the other side. So left ankle on top of your right knee, press your knee away, keep this foot flexed all the time. So press your knee with your left hand, right hand on the hip crease. Long belly, remember about that? Long belly, breathe into your belly, shoulders are melting down to the ground. Maybe this is enough but try to look to that posture see if you can grab this your right leg with your right hand and create this contour action between your hands so you're pressing your left knee forward or left leg towards you and again we're looking for the mild sensation remember about that and breathe through that with every exhale just let it go You might still be there, or maybe you link your right leg up towards the sky, taking your toes towards your chest. Rebound your right knee, bring your right foot on the ground, and then start to send your left knee to the ground next to your chest. See if you can grab the ankle and apply some weight to this leg. Or maybe you can grab that heel from the inside and start to press the knee towards the ground and press your right hip crease to the floor with your right hand ground through your shoulders breathe in and out and all the sensations you experience in your hip flexor right now just let it go with every exhale just one more and gently release, bring both feet up, roll the ankles, flex your feet, and then give yourself a some massage behind you. So just create those clothes and chop it towards your legs, chop it towards your hamstrings. Tell them, hi guys, you're gonna be fine. Roll them several more times, bend your knees, squeeze them towards your chest, Roll, rock and roll here. And cross your shins. And find your way to a sitting position. So find your sukhasana, easy seat again. Bring your right leg in front of the left one. Press your right hand to the right hip crease. Left hand on the ground, take a big inhale. And chest away from the knee. And one more and press your chest away from your right knee and then keep your torso low start to step forward with your hands sway your chest from side to side take an inhale move it deeper and then step to the right uh, step to the left sorry away from your right knee press your right knee close to the ground press your right sitting bone to the ground and try to level your shoulders so make sure that your right shoulder is not lifting up. So bring it down. Keep breathing here. Then gently step all the way up to sitting. Bring your right knee up. And then guide it. Guide the whole leg to the back. So your knees 
pretty much on the same line. And then see if you're going to bring your right hip, right sitting bone on the ground. So create this action. So bring your right hand on the hip crease and then guide it to the right first, to the back of the room, and then down. So you're kind of bypassing this hip joint. And also level the angle of your leg here. And breathe. And this might be enough. This is might be a lot here. So, if you feel fine, start to plant your hands behind you. And move it back. Chill up with your shoulders, roll it back and down several times. Then press the ground with your hands, lift your hips up, bring your tail forward, and plant your sacrum on the ground. Or if you bring it more parallel to the floor. See if you can bring your forearms on the floor. Maybe not, which is fine. Keep moving and keep breathing. So think about leveling your hips. Think about getting your right hip closer to the floor. Breathe in and out. Remember mild sensations. Nothing cruel here. And gently, with the help of your hands, bring it up, linking your right leg to the right, keeping your left foot inside, press it, hip crease with your left hand, move your torso towards your right leg. Plant your hands next to the knee. Inhale, and with the exhale, don't try to go pretty low towards this leg, just level your chest towards your right toes. Will really light on your hands. Just creating the alignment between the spine muscles and your legs. Gently bring it up. And then change your legs. So your left leg in front of the right one. Press your left hip crease to the ground right hand on the floor, take a big inhale, and bring your chest closer to the ground. Another inhale and exhalation, move your chest away from your left knee. Keeping your torso low, start to move your hands forward. Feeling the difference between your hips here? It's fine both, if you do and if you don't. Make sure that you're not squeezing your belly here. And then step to the right, away from your left knee. Level your shoulders, move your left shoulder closer to the ground. Maybe you need to bend your left hand more. Check on your left sitting bone. Is it still on the floor? You're not lifting it? And then gently. Bring it up, lift your left knee, guide it to the back. Knees on the same line. <clears throat> Check on the angle of the leg here. Mm -hmm. And you can stay right here. And our hips are pretty different. <clears throat> so you might experience something absolutely different on the side of the body. It might be way easier or way harder or no way. So just stay there and try to find a piece here. So to get this hip closer to the floor, you can plant your hand on the left hip crease, bring it to the left, to the back, and rolling that hip, and down to the ground. You can see you can step back slightly with your hands, rolling the shoulders, lift your hips, bring your tail forward, bring the top of your glutes to the ground, and yeah, start to breathe and level the sensation in your hips. Level your hips physically. So think about getting your left hip closer to the ground. And this is not my favorite side today. So it's not going to get any closer. And it's not going to find it. It might be different tomorrow. Maybe worse. Maybe better. I don't know. Then with the help of your hands, lift it up. 
link your left flat to the left, press your right hip to the floor, move your torso towards your left leg, plant your hands somewhere next to the knee, and remember, really lighten your hands. And start to move your chest, level your chest towards the straight leg. Keep this external rotation of your right hip, taking the knee to the ground. Gently bring it up. Bend both knees, cross your shins, find your tabletop. Move your hips back and forth. So, and I really like this exercise of a cat cow, but like a proportional cat cow. So, you are not doing the whole thing with the spine, but just with your lower back. So, planting your hands on the ground and create the stability in your chest and your upper body. Press your, the space between the shoulder blades up and keep your chest stable. It's not moving. And then gently start to move your tail up and down. So, this really subtle curve on your lower back. It's not a dramatic movement. It's not huge. It's pretty small. Just articulate those movements there for your hips. Okay, so then bring your right leg back. Press your heel to the back of the room. Stretch those hamstrings. Lift it up. Turn your toes to the right. And you either can glide your leg on the air parallel to the ground, or you can simply draw the circle with your leg right here. So your toes facing forward, and you try to press the pinky edge to the ground, but just take an attempt. Make sure that your hips are square, press the ground away from you with your hands, and start to move your hips gently, watch your inner thigh, gently towards your left heel. Maybe all the way, maybe here is enough, and you keep this connection between the ground and your hands. Press it away, with this counter action, move your chest away from your hands. See if you can go deeper. If you can bring your hips all the way towards your heel, just start to relax, let your chest melt down, and feel this nice stretch on your inner thigh. If you're somewhere here in higher up position, just keep pressing your hips away from your hands. And that's a lot. Inhale, bring it up to center. And of course, you can spend as much time in every single posture as you want to. And deep toe this foot towards the pinky edge of your right hand. With inhalation, press your hips forward. Find this nice stretch of your hip flexor. Roll the shoulders back, really lighten your hands. With exhale, swing your hips back, lift your front toes up, step closer. Start to find the connection, find the stability in your hips, squeeze it in, check on their levelness. So make sure that you're not swinging your hips to the left. They're stretching back to the, to the back of the room, chest away from your hips. Whew. That might be a lot here. So keep your left hand on the ground and lift your right one up. Keep pressing your right hip close to the right, to the back of the room. Another inhale, bring both hands on the ground, bring it back, plant your hands, swing your hips forward one more time, chest forward, and find the tabletop. Wiggle it around. Now let's do the full cat cow version here. So with inhalation, drop your belly, chest away from your hips forward, exhale around your back. And one more. And we'll do the same on the other side. So your left leg goes back, press the heel away, lift it up, turn it to the left, and bring it parallel to the ground or keep it on the ground. It's all up to you. So wherever you are, make sure that your shoulders are level, your hips are level, press it heel there. Then if your leg is lifted, bring it on the floor, toes facing forward, pinky edge, taking its way towards the ground, and then start to press the ground away from you. And move your leg back. 
towards the back heel, towards your right heel. Maybe that's enough here. And just stay there, keeping the connection between your hand and the ground, reaching up with your spine, reaching back with your hips. Keep this foot pressing to the floor, the left one. If you're getting all the way towards your heel, go ahead, but not let the leg just do nothing. So it's reaching to the ground to the pinky edge. Gently bring it up. Draw the circle towards the pinky edge. Inhale. Hips forward, chest forward. Exhale, swing it back, bring those toes up. And you can plant your hands closer to this, that knee, or you can start to find the stability and bring your hands in front of the heart. So send your sitting uh, hip creases to the back. Sitting bones are equally reaching to the back of the room, chest forward, hands in front of the heart, breathe. The closer your chest stores your toes, the more stretch you will find on your front hamstring. And see if you can bring your hand, your right one, on the ground. Lift the left one arm for a twist. Press your left hip crease to the back of the room. Inhale. Exhale, plant both hands on the ground. Swing your hips forward one more time, stretch. Bring it back. Find your tabletop. And from here, connect the toes to your feet together. Press the ground from you and start to sink see, see deeper towards your heels. So here is something that might happen. So for me, it's really easy to bring my hips on the heels. But if you feel that you're stuck somewhere here, so several options, you either can grab a pillow and plant that pillow over your heels and sit on that like that with your forearms on the ground and just release <clears throat> your lower back. If pillow is too much, you can take a blanket and create any level you want with that blanket. So also with the blanket, I like to do that. So fold your blanket and bring your forehead on the ground Roll forward, bring your spine forward, and then tuck this blanket on your knee crease and sit on that. And then reach forward. So kind of creating more space on your knees, right between your those two bones. So wherever you are, find your comfortable position in your child pose and just release and let it go. Take it three, three nice and long inhales and exhales. And after the third one, gently. Bring your torso up, get rid of your props. Move your legs forward, roll the ankles. Find the staff pose, planting your hands on the ground, heels forward, toes up. If you need to bend your knees for that, go ahead, but keep your nice and long belly, remember about that? So you can breathe in and out, strong and long spine. If you want to hinge forward, go for it. If you want to lengthen your legs more, go for it. But make sure that you're not squeezing, you're not rolling your shoulders. It's always nice and straight and reaching forward with your open heart. And you can spend as much time in this four-fold position, Parshimantanasana, as you want to breathe through that mild sensation you experience in your lower back and hips. Just enjoy your practice. Thank you for being with me. Namaste.